there's three different ways that you can insert video inside a storyline. Video from file, that is putting a, uploading a video from your local machine into storyline makes your storyline file bigger. Not ideal if you have a lot of videos. For instance, this course is 1.5 gigabytes, which is very slow to load. The better situation is to do video from website, and that lets a video server such as YouTube, Brightcove, or Vimeo do all the hard lifting and do what they do well best which is video plane. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to convert a course from all inserted videos, videos from a file, versus embedded videos, videos from Brightcove. So here I have a lot in the storyline file, a lot of videos to convert. So the first thing in order for me to get all sane is I made a spreadsheet and that spreadsheet has all of the names of the files and it has all of the bright cove um, embed codes. I went ahead in Excel and I went ahead and did concatenate and I went ahead and did some magic. So all I had to do is export the bright cove IDs out and I let Excel do that. I'll put this file below if you want that concatenate um, feature. So it enables you to get this nice clean embed code without having to type it every single time and then grab it. And then as soon as I'm done with the file converting, I went ahead and made it um, red. So in this situation, I am just wanted to show you the Excel file now back into Storyline. So here, what I'm gonna do now is I have to shrink the timeline, make sure that I put the right file in and get everything to work. So what I'm gonna first do is I'm gonna take a screen grab of this particular file name. And I, then, I, that's on my clipboard. And then I'm going to delete the um, the MP4. I'm going to replace it, and now I'm going to right click and reset timeline to the default. This makes sure that the timeline isn't too long. So then, what that's going to happen is I'm going to repaste that little thing off screen so it never shows up. But I know for a fact, for quality assurance or QA, that I know I'm putting the right file in. So um, I'm going to make sure that. Um, that file's there. And now I'm gonna go over to my Excel file and I'm going to grab the, um, uh, first of all, I did L, so I'm gonna go ahead and make that red, indicating that I finished it. I'm gonna grab M now, I'm gonna hit copy. And I'm gonna come back here and I'm gonna go to insert um, video from website. Then I'm gonna put in the iframe code. The iframe code says what sizes it is. It's 960 by 540, which is the desktop size of my storyline file. So then I'm gonna put that in there. So even though that it's only five seconds long, the Brightcove embed or Vimeo or YouTube will play to its entirety. Um, I, there's more specifics that I'll go into in the comments if you have them, but that's really what has to happen. So that, that basically does it. I'm able to now play that video from a website and not internal to Storyline. So now I'm going to go back to my Excel file. I'm just going to, with red, indicate that that file is done, and now I'm moving over to the next one. So the next one is, again, I take a screen grab of the name. I go ahead and delete that. I right click the timeline and I reset timeline to default. I then paste back my little um, quality thing to make sure I put the right video in. And now I want to go to Excel, pick up N, which is the, the, the name that I'm working on. I go to insert video from a website, paste in that iframe code, and there I have it. I have another one just finalizing, go back and hit that the red that you've finished it up. Oh, thanks for watching. I hope this helps you with uh, your work. You just set a timer and just get that stuff done. Take care.